Hello marketers, I'm Toby Murdoch, CEO of Capost, and I'm here to talk to you about how Capost relates to CMSs, or content management systems, particularly how it complements them in taking on the challenge of content velocity. We'll begin our story with a little bit of history to the tools and the channels that we used when we first, as marketers, went digital. So when we first went digital, uh, the first way we did is we had a website. And we needed a tool or a technology to power that website. And the tool that we bought was a content management system or a CMS, sometime also, sometimes also called Web Content Management or WCM. And because all of our digital content only went on our website, the CMS was the, was the term used to refer to this system that managed the website because that was the entirety of our digital content. Now, regarding these tools, these are very powerful tools, CMSs. Uh, they have great technical ability, ability to serve up to, to web browsers, to mobile browsers, to, to withstand traffic from thousands or millions of visitors. Um, and these tools are generally run and built to be run by technical users. They're technically sophisticated, and that's who was built to use them. So back when we were bringing our content online, most of what was um, on our website was about our product. Um, so our product didn't change that often. So there was a much slower cadence to pushing content out, a uh, much slower rate of content velocity. And so the, the process was pretty simple. Um, the marketer would create the content. They would pass the content onto the technical user. You know, on that quarterly basis, the technical user would push the update out to the website. And that worked well for that earlier era. But digital marketing has continued to evolve, and as it has, more and more power has passed into the hands of the customer. And we as marketers have had to react. And, and our reaction has been for us to produce not so much content just about our own product, but more content at much greater volume and velocity of content that's less about ourselves and more about the needs and interests of our customer. And so to make this happen, Almost every marketer now is participating in this content creation in order to have the velocity of content necessary to succeed in the age of the customer. But there's a problem with this content velocity. Because these website or CMS systems are built to be used by technical users, it becomes a bottleneck when all this content needs to flow through the technical team in order to reach the buyer. Um, and this is a problem. And this is where Capost comes in, because Capost is a system built not for the technical user, but for the marketer. Our system is built to enable and coordinate all the activities of the regular layman marketer as they produce all of this content. So Capost as an overlay that sits in front of a website but is integrated in with that system and with that CMS allows for content velocity to be achieved and for all marketers to effectively produce and organize all the content they need now to, su to succeed in the age of the customer. The technical user is still involved, but less as a barrier to getting content into the website, but more as a manager of the technology tool of the CMS. And Capost does this not only for your web channel and your CMS, but for all of the various channels in which now the digital marketers must be in order to be where our digitally empowered buyer wants us to be. It's a single system that manages all of marketing's inputs and organizes them so that you can create once and publish everywhere across this growing array of digital channels. So this is how Capost complements content management systems and allows them to operate at the content velocity that's required to succeed in the age of the customer. Thanks for spending some time with me on this topic, and we look forward to continuing the dialogue with you as you take on the challenges of digital marketing.